super um, ladies and gentlemen well why don't we uh, why don't we look to begin so uh, good afternoon everybody uh, thank you for joining us here for the uh, next installment in the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight webinar series here. It's uh, great to have you all here today as we here to talk about uh, how to trade counter trend lines. And um, I appreciate we've got a, a really uh, a broad spectrum of uh, people joining us here today across all sort of uh, breadths of uh, experiences. Uh, you know, I also noticed that we've got people from a, a you know a truly global audience. So uh, please, if you're in the chat box, just you know, let us know where, where you're actually uh, from, where you're joining us from today. Uh, and also, you know, it can help me as well if you can let me know if uh, you know what kind of trading experience you have, how long you've been trading, what's the uh, you know what if anything you understand about trading counter trend uh, lines that helps me just get a uh, a good insight into uh, into the sort of uh, the range of people we have in the room today um as always hope you can sort of hear my voice if you can see me um, i just noticed that um i'm uh, here in one of my offices here that that is uh, that's the light reflecting on the uh, tv screen behind me that's not my own personal halo uh, Kind of keep that for uh, keep that for private moments. Um, but uh, anyway, it's uh, great for you to uh, be here to to join me. And as I said, let's uh, let's have a chat today about uh, how to trade counter trend lines. So uh, you know what are we going to talk about? Well, I'm going to talk not unsurprisingly about what counter trend lines are. You know how we uh, go about finding them. Uh, you know when and where do the best setups occur, and exactly how do we trade, and what exactly are we uh, looking for in terms of the, the type of setup? Uh, and then if we have time at the end, okay, as always, I like to just flip across to the live charts. Okay, we can have a look at the Admiral Markets MetaTrader Four or MetaTrader Five platform to be able to sort of um, have a little look at you know how uh, markets are setting up, what kind of um, markets have provided us over the uh, the last couple of days. So I appreciate. It, um, you know, whilst we can go through lots of slides and examples, it always helps to just have a little look at you know what the market's offering you, how you can go to identify um, how to trade, capture trend lines. <clears throat> so we see that uh, yeah, I've got Vincenzo. Mark says he's here from Australia. You're very welcome, Mark. Uh, everybody else, you know, as I said, just uh, pop in where you're from, okay? Just uh, gives us a good. Uh, uh, gives a bit of an indication of you know uh, where uh, where all our uh, guests are from. Uh, as always, you know we uh, we love the interaction. Okay, if you, so if you have questions, please feel free to find them away. Or if you're watching this on demand later on the uh, Admiral Markets YouTube page or uh, Facebook page, then uh, by all means, you know if you're enjoying this, give us a like and then just you know if you have questions, we'll be very happy to take them. Okay, anything we can do to to help you uh, understand that the, uh, the the content that we're here to provide you for. Um, and as always, you know, we say, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I appreciate that, uh, you know, we're always a little bit limited on time here, okay? So, uh, you know, I appreciate that people want support, they want sort of uh, help and instruction with their uh, trading sessions. So, uh, we can recommend that uh, you can go and join the exclusive trading spotlight community on Traders Yard. And um, after this webinar, I'm going to be in uh, the uh, Traders Yard area for about half an hour. So, if you've got questions about this particular webinar, or maybe you've got questions about trading and markets uh, in in particular then uh, i suggest you go and just jump on to uh, tradersyard.com and you can join the trading spotlight group tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312 and you'll be uh, very welcome to join us you know and uh, my colleagues uh, marcus and Jens are putting up some uh, excellent content there uh, uh, several times a day okay but uh, you know as i said i'll be in there about uh, half an hour or so after our event, after our webinar today, to answer any particular questions you might have regarding uh, markets or uh, what we've covered uh, here today's session. And you can just uh, hopefully look at this. Uh, Valdus said he's there uh, from Lithuania. Very welcome, Valdus. And uh, you know you can see there in the chat box that there's the uh, there's the link there. Okay, to the uh, to our Traders Yard page. Please feel free to click in and join us. Okay, we as I said we uh, we really do enjoy the uh, the, the interaction. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name's uh, Paul Wallace. Uh, after a, uh, a career in the uh, in the military in the city, um, I started trading many years ago. I've uh, experience of trading for both uh, hedge funds and uh, clients, high net worth clients, and primarily I focus on FX indices and commodities. And uh, for my trend and uh, sort of uh, um, 
uh, for sort of swing and position trades. I'm a trend trader, and you'll see an example of that today. And for shorter term time trade, I tend to be primarily mostly a uh, mean reversion trader. And we're here as uh, a part of the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight series. And Admiral Markets are a brokerage with uh, over 8,000 financial instruments uh, available for you to trade with offices in 20 plus countries, okay, across the, uh, the world. And they are uh, regulated, okay, and authorized uh, across uh, several uh, entities around the world. Uh, and they provide competitive spreads, especially on the uh, sort of major uh, uh, trading indices or instruments layer like Euro Dollar and the DAX 30. And you can engage with markets on the, uh, the world's most popular trading platforms of MT4 and MT5, which you can do through, do through both the phone, the desktop and the browser. Uh, and you also have access to the uh, uh, sort of a client only Admiral Market Supreme Edition plugin, which is a, a very helpful tool. So then let's talk about trading counter uh, trend lines. And, uh, you know, we've provided quite a wide range of uh, educational material in the part of the Trading Spotlight webinar series. And in the past, we've discussed things like trading breakouts versus trading pullbacks. And uh, I talked about how, you know, personally, you know, whilst I can trade breakouts, I find for myself, for my own trading style, I personally like to sort of trade pullbacks. That's where, uh, that's what I particularly like to do on the sort of, uh, you know, kind of swing positions in particular. Uh, and, uh, you know, for those of us who are similar, who like to trade pullbacks, well, this is just, you know, another way to join them, to trade. And this is what we're going to be sharing with you uh, today. And it's just about a case of uh, how to identify a different way of identifying, a, you know, a sort of ability to sort of trade a particular uh, pullback. And it's just a quite a simple way to rejoin an existing trend after the uh, after the pullback. OK, and that's what we're just trying to sort of be able to do to provide that with you sort of various different ways that you can actually take away and trade breakouts, trade pullbacks, okay? And, and the whole idea being that, you know, you can take the ideas that resonate with you most, take them away and start to utilize them in your, uh, in your own trading. You might find that that particular style works for you. It suits your personality, in which case, you know, you, you develop and, and uh, develop and, uh, and build upon that as your, uh, as your own trading business. And so today we'll explore this uh, opportunity and hopefully it will give you some just, you know, as I said, just some simple ideas, okay, simple concept about how you could uh, rejoin an existing trend and be able to sort of utilize that in your own trading from, uh, from tomorrow. So, as I said, that's quite a simple tactic. It can be used to enter markets that meet your uh, strategy uh, and uh, to identify a trend. And that's the first step there in terms of, uh, you know, identifying a trend. Now, you know, how can you do that? Well, you know, if you look in uh, the Admiral Markets um, webinar archive, there are quite a lot of uh, uh, fantastic uh, resources there in terms of webinars where you can actually utilize to how to uh, identify a trend. So, you know, you might be wish to use something, you know, it's very simple elements of technical analysis, okay? In past, we've discussed about using simply uh, uh, moving averages, okay? Just simply using 50 and 200 or 20, 50 and 200 period moving averages to be able to identify a trend. You might just want to use something simple like price action, okay? You might just want to use simple Dow theory, like using utilizing higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows. It's uh, it's about identifying a trend. You know, it, it what I say to traders is that you know, good trends are not hard to find, okay? Good trends will leap off the chart at you. And you know, and what I find is sometimes with new traders is that they they try and force, okay, they try and force or project onto the chart what they're looking to, what they want to see. And the truth of the matter is, you know, a, a good trend will come to you. You'll be able to identify a good trend. And if you're if you're a new trader and you're looking at a chart and you're not really sure whether that's you know, whether the instrument you're looking at is in a particular trend at the moment, well, you know, I can give you some advice. The likelihood is it's probably not in a trend at that moment. Good trends leap off the page of you. So, you know, try not to try not to force it. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't particularly it doesn't particularly help. And I'll just show you some examples later on when we switch across to the live charts about how we can do that. But our first step is, you know, we want to identify a trend. All right, we can, you know, however, you might already have an idea how to do that, and you might already particularly have a a preferred method of identifying a trend. 
that's okay. Okay, I personally use a little, an element of moving averages, price action, okay, higher highs, higher lows. But I appreciate that I'm an experienced trader. You know, I recognize that we have a, a broad spread of experience in the, uh, in the room with us today. <clears throat> so what are we looking to do? Well, step one, as I said, is identify a trend, however that might be particularly. And then we're going to look to draw some natural counter trend lines. So what does that mean, Paul? Well, don't worry. We're going to look at that uh, a few examples in the, uh, the next few slides. And then we'll be looking to enter on a break of the line, and in particular, a close on the other side of the line, especially for uh, a sort of a kind of, let's say, swing type trading. That's a much better way to operate. And we would look step simple step four would be to have our stop above the recent high or the candle and you know what we can do is for those of you who like to target you can have a target of one and a half rewards times your risk which we'll look at in a moment i also appreciate that we have traders here today who also like to sort of trail their stops because they like to try and harvest you know whatever the market will uh, provide and what we will look at as well as we'll have a look at targets what we'll also do is have a little look at being able to trail your stop just using a very simple three bar trailing stop very simple very mechanical okay and that um, that tends to be uh, what helps traders is when they can find sort of simple mechanical ways to manage their trades rather than trying to sort of uh, um, let's say overthink the market or overthink their uh, particular strategy in terms of uh, how to operate in a in a in a, uh, in a moving trade that is going in their direction but you know, as we said we just wanted to have very very simple okay very simple sort of you know trading tactic that we could utilize to allow us to be able to rejoin an existing trend that's all we're looking to do how to find simple ways to join uh, you know join a trend through a pullback So, you know, here's some uh, ex you know, very simple examples, okay, just um, from uh, over different, and what I've tried to use is different, uh, different instruments, different time periods, different places, you know, just to be able to show. And hopefully what you can see, let's use the, you know, the drawing tools here. Let's bring them on board. Okay, that always helps us, makes it easier for uh, people to join us. So, you know, as I said, good trends leap off the page at you, okay? This is, uh, this is the pound against the Japanese yen on a, a daily chart. And hopefully you can see that this, you know, this is very so clearly in a downtrend, okay? Price action, okay, is effectively is making, okay? Lower highs, lower lows, okay? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, okay? It's, it's clearly in a downtrend. Furthermore, we can see that you know we have here the 20, the 50, the 200 period moving average. Okay, they're all in alignment. They're all fanned out. They're in a nice, clear directional trend. So we know we're in a downtrend. Okay, we know that we're in an absolute uh, downtrend. Okay, so we you know we, what we're looking for is is for what we can see here is you know when we are in a very clear downtrend, is that actually we're able to draw very sometimes sometimes we can see very simple, very clear counter trend lines okay which is what i've drawn here okay just a very simple clear counter trend line we can see them we know we're in a downtrend what we have is a price will be pulled back why would price pull back well there's a couple of reasons there's a be some people who are short here okay who are looking to take profit so if you remember the people who are here who've been short all the way down they've been sellers so of course to close their order they now need to become buyers in the market to basically close out the position so you still have some buyers alternatively there will also be people who are just wanting to sort of try and pick the bottom there are always people who want to try and sort of predict where the actual bottom is and that's the um, they're just trying to, to to do that then there will be people who have just been sat on the sidelines waiting to actually uh, to work some of those will be waiting for the pullback. Some of them will be annoyed. Some of those people will be uh, annoyed that actually they missed out on the downtrend and they will just try and buy as a, as a, uh, as a sign of their uh, ego telling them that they know better than the market. I, I can uh, assure you traders that kind of last strategy is, is not a particularly good one for your uh, long-term uh, trading profitability. What we like to see is that, you know, for new traders, we say, just find a trend, okay? Identify trend and find a way to get on board. That's what we're looking to. That's what we're looking to do, and that's what we're looking to share with you here. Now, those of you who are very good at technical analysis might actually say, "Well, do you know what, Paul? Oops, as I say, my drawing skills are uh, are not the best. I I am a better trader than I am an artist. So, please bear with me there. I'll just draw that again. But no, this is a bit 
that's a little bit of cake, might have a bit more control over it. But those of you, those of you who are uh, you know good technical analysis might say, well, actually, Paul, that is kind of a flag pattern that we have there, and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with you there. There's a little bit of a flag pattern there in a downtrend, and you would be able to extend it. But sometimes you know we don't get nice flag patterns. Okay, sometimes the pullback can be a bit, can be a, you know a bit scratchy in terms of this price action. But what we can see is when we have very nice kind of clear sort of counter trend lines. Once those trend lines are broken, well, then that gives us an opportunity to take the trade. And if you remember the, the sort of, you know, the, the kind of steps that we were looking at was effectively, you know, identify a trend, identify a pullback that has quite a, a natural counter trend line, okay? And it's counter to the existing downtrend here, isn't it? You can see that yourselves. And then, you know, invariably, once we see that that counter trend line is broken and we get a close on the other side, well, there, there, we, there becomes our entry and our stock can go above the recent high. And we can see here the fractal helps us. This is our recent high. So well, automatically, we now know, you know, we have, we know where our entry is. Okay. We know where our exit is if we're wrong. And now what we'd be looking to do is to effectively to just pro project forward what would be one and a half times our trade risk. Okay. From where we're actually entering where are stop losses and in this particular case that comes down to around about it comes down to around about here actually what happens but equally you know as i said those of you who would like to uh, talk about maybe trending uh, rather uh, um, trailing their stops well then you know your ability to basically to trail your stops on a an almost like a three bar basis would would effectively would kind of effectively mean that you'd have probably been taken out here okay so in this particular case I just put target there, okay, and if I put trail there, okay. In that particular case, yes, you'd have had a nice profitable trade, but you know, in terms of that case of the target, you'd have hit your target here. You'd have a profitable trade, a nice profitable trade, but not as profitable as the uh, as having a simple target. And that's you know that's a it's a recurring theme, all right. It's a recurring theme for traders that namely that. You know, there is no perfection, okay? There is no perfection. Sometimes you'll find that having a target is what helps you develop the, uh, uh, or rather harvest the most uh, profits. Other times a trailing stop will help you uh, uh, harvest the most. There is no perfection in that. What is actually more important for you as a trader is just to pick one that particularly works for you, that you can effectively execute consistently, trade up the trade, up the trade, up the trade. That is what's more important. Personally, for me, my next military guy, I like to hit a target. Okay, I see the target, hit the target. That's that works for me. Again, it makes it simple for me. Again, it's simple to execute. I know where I'm getting in. I know where I'm getting out if I'm wrong. I know if I'm getting out when I'm right. Okay, the trade becomes almost like a, it's like a little sort of you know, it's like sandbox trade. Okay, that can just be almost set and forget in particular in some particular ways. But I appreciate some people like to do a little bit differently. So, you know, we can see that that in that case, you know, because we were in a nice trend, okay, we, you know, we trended down very nicely. But we can also see that actually, you know, almost like a month later that invariably, you know, price was still in a downtrend. Uh, and once again, we created, okay, we created another counter trend line after the part of the, uh, of the pullback. And there we can see that, you know, price broke that trend line, it closed here, and we knew where our exit was going to be. So in this particular case, you know, we have our target and actually, actually our you know our target was down around about this area here which in this particular case you know once again we hit a nice one and a half hour target which is it's nice people like to hit but also you know if you'd have been trying to if you'd have been trying to trail your if you've been trying to trail your stop you'd have been taken out about here so it would have been a probably just a probably about a break even trade just using a three bar trailing stop so, you know, once again, in that particular example, using a target is actually sort of, you know, more, uh, more profitable for you. But, you know, that's not always the way. As I said, it's not about perfection. There is no perfection in trading. It's about finding a simple way to execute time and time and time again. That's the big difference for you. So just uh, more examples, more examples of us here. Just gonna do this. So this is the, uh, the Euro Sterling, okay, on the daily chart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, as always, you know, we can see that price is 
above the moving averages, okay? It's above the 20, above the 50, above the 200. We can see that we're making higher highs, higher lows, okay? Higher highs, higher lows. So, you know, we're, we're getting a price action, we're getting indicators, all confirming that we're in a nice uptrend. And uh, what we can see here is our, you know, as the trade gets, uh, develops, it actually has a pullback and the pullback creates quite a nice, simple, counter trend line and that once that's broken okay once that's broken and closed that gives us our opportunity to sort of take our trade all right and that's that's just what we're looking to do as i say you know kept saying all the uh well, you know from the very start is that you know a good a good trend will leap off the page at you okay good trend leaps off the page that's what we're looking for we're just looking for you know when a good trend is developed there'll be a pullback okay and will that pullback allow us an opportunity to re-enter that uh, trend in a very simple easy manner and trading counter trend lines is uh, is what allows us now what i can see is some people might say well actually paul you know there's a, there's a few opportunities here you know you'd be right people might say well actually paul you know you could say that that was a counter trend line and and you could and people would say that that actually is you know that there paul was a counter trend line there and and i wouldn't I wouldn't disagree with you there. Some might even say, well, actually, Paul, I'm looking at that as a counter trend line. What I would say is uh, I don't particularly like this one, okay? And the reason being is I don't necessarily like the, the counter trend line to be too steep, okay? What I kind of like is, you know, just a, an example like this one here, okay, or, or this one, is that I just like to see, you know, I like to see price move. I like to see price draw what is like almost like a natural counter trend line. It almost... Counter trend line is very nice. It's, it's you know the it's not too steep. Okay, it's a bit of a it's almost like a bit of a go. We're looking at a, a kind of a Goldilocks angle. Okay, it's not too shallow. It's not too steep. It's just right. Now some people talk about that being around about the forty five degree angle. You know within that, and that's 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 perfectly fine. I have no no issue with that. Okay, um, but what I would say is you know of course the more you do this, the more you look at it, the more you will uh, develop the experience to be able to to see not only the counter trend line, but the, the price action that, that is underneath that counter trend line as well. That can be, that can be, quite, uh, that can be quite interesting as well. So if they don't, don't try and force them, okay? Don't, uh, don't try and force it. And if, you know, if your trend line looks very steep, the likelihood is that you know, it, might be, uh, it might not necessarily be the, uh, the right one or alternative if it's too shallow. Okay, if it's too shallow, then you know that might not necessarily be the, the right way here. So if I was looking here, just you know, when, when price had been in a downtrend, okay, and that you know perhaps would have been just a just maybe just a little bit shallow there, okay. Whereas this one is a little bit too steep, and that's that's just what we're trying to uh, that's just what we're trying to avoid. So you know, I wanted to include this one here because it's a bit of a scruffy one, but you know. That's the way it is trading. The markets are never as, uh, as picture perfect as we like. But, you know, we can see here, okay, by this case, price has been grinding its way up, right? It has been grinding its way up. Uh, and we can see that, you know, the sort of price is above the moving averages, okay? Price is making, okay, higher highs, okay, higher lows, all right? So, well, you know, we like the fact that it's in, you know, and also the, the trend line is, is there. We can see that, you know, the, and the price action underlying is almost like providing you kind of drawing a flag pattern. Uh, you know, for those of you who like to draw flag patterns or trade flag patterns, you know, if a flag pattern ends with a nice engulfing candle or a pinball, that makes me even happier. So, you know, invariably we have one here. Okay, a nice simple counter trend line that allows you to sort of get on board, okay, where we sort of enter, we close the other side of it, or stop below the recent low, okay, and then we're able to sort of take our trade back up, okay, for a one and a half R. Or in this particular case, you know, where you'd been looking at the, uh, you'd have been looking at sort of trailing your stop, uh, I suspect you'd have probably been taken out around about here. So not, and not too differently from where the, not too differently from where the target is. But one of the reasons I wanted to show you here is, let's clear these, is that some people might say, well, Paul, that was a, that's a, that's a really nice counter trend line there, okay, Paul. And uh, of course, with hindsight, with hindsight, we can see that, you know, if, if you'd have bought there, okay, and had your stop beneath the lows, You'd have probably have done quite well. You might have, you might have been a bit nervous here, but, uh, but you'd have probably done quite well. But the reason I wouldn't take that is because you know what we can see is this one here. Okay, we're we're above the averages. Okay, we're above the averages. We're you know we're making higher highs, higher lows. Okay, whereas here we can see you know by the time it finishes, we're actually we're actually beneath. 
okay we're beneath the averages itself okay and it, so it's a it's a bit of a you know we'd be buying into a bit of a murky into a murky sort of uh, uh um sort of uh, murky model there in the middle now of course we can see in hindsight that actually the price did go up but you don't know that at the time right you don't know that at the time when the trade goes on all right so as i said just find a trend okay just look for a pullback see if there's a nice counter trend line you know when price closes the other side of it well there we have there we have a, yeah, a particular uh, we have a trade opportunity there for us Uh, and this is, you know, just more in the uh, the euro sterling example. You know, these are all, so this is actually pound against dollar on the daily chart. And, uh, you know, once again, we can see price is in a downtrend. We can see the 20, the 50, okay, the 200, that's probably the 100 in alignment here. Uh, and actually, as price pulls back, we can see that, you know, it just puts in kind of nice counter trend lines here, okay. Uh, and, you know, if you do need a bit of help or if maybe you need to struggle, well, then, you know, I can recommend that, you know, if, the, if it prints fractals, okay, on your chart, well, that in itself can be of a help in terms of drawing counter trend lines. Okay, and we can we can see we had a you know we can see we had a couple of examples here. Okay, or just where price is moving down. Okay, it's it's moved down. It's a, it's a nice it's a, been in a nice angle. Okay, and we can see that the second one. Okay, there's always the light switches off. Is that uh, you know once the uh, you know close to the other side, you know where your entry is, you know where your exit is, and you know where your uh, where your target is if you're using a, a one and a half reward to risk target okay so it's you know just about just having that find a simple trend look for the pullbacks and just wait to see does that draw a nice simple counter trend line well then that might be providing you with the opportunity to sort of rejoin the existing trend <clears throat> uh, you know we just had uh, you know, examples here and i just wanted to show you some more examples of you know on different sides so we can see here, okay, you can see that you know, once price breaks, your price has been sort of making, you know, kind of lower highs, lower lows, okay. It's in amongst the uh, moving averages, but, you know, we, we, we get clear of it and then we pull back and then we can see we have fractals here, okay, which just provide us with a, a level for a counter trend line trade for us to play through. And it does it again, okay, it actually brings it up again and that's actually looking as pretty much like a flag pattern there, okay. Very, so this drawing on this is terrible, but. That's, uh, that's my fault, not, uh, not anything but else's, okay? Uh, and before price moves itself on down here. What, uh, what we're talking about here is to show, you know, examples where, you know, nothing is perfect. In this particular trade here, okay, you know, we can see this is a bit of an example of where, where price has actually pulled up, but, you know, we can see by the time it's quite shallow, or by the time it's broken through, it's, it's, it's quite a shallow line, okay? It doesn't break through to it beneath it, and, you know, for sort of kind of... Um, let's say risk averse traders, you know, you'd be looking at, you know, kind of the recent highs of stop loss. So actually suddenly your uh, position, okay, suddenly your trade risk becomes particularly big. So we've probably been giving this one uh, a, a miss. And then the next one here, you know, we talked about uh, sometimes it can be, sometimes it can be maybe a little bit too, uh, too aggressive. Well, you know, in this particular case, what we have here is, you know, we have, you know, we can see we have a, uh, a you know, pullback here, the fractal here provides us that natural counter trend line. We can know where we'd be getting it in, okay, when the price closes on the other side of that. But, you know, we have a stop and actually what happens is price just pushes up, takes us out and stop and then actually continues to sort of maneuver its way down, okay. As I said, there is no perfection, okay. There is, you know, there is no perfection. It's, uh, it's you know, that's, um, you know, not everything works 100% of the time. It's about recognizing here, at least you know where exactly where you, you know, where your exit is if you're, if you're wrong in that trade. And so you're in a position to sort of, you know, manage your risk accordingly. Um, you know, just uh, just the kind of uh, opportunities in, in in different ways and versions of it. Uh, this is the Kiwi dollar, okay, on the uh, Kiwi dollar against the yen on a four-hour chart, and this was actually in a kind of a bigger sort of almost like a, a coil. It's kind of like a triangle formation, uh, and what we saw was that you know not only did price get beneath uh, the moving averages, but it broke out of the uh, of the kind of the trend lines that were sort of forming that. The, uh, the bigger triangle uh, and then price kind of pulled back it sort of but it drew a printed a kind of a small simple natural counter trend line to what we were uh, exist uh, what we've been seeing for the last uh, few days okay on the four hour chart before price you know gave you an opportunity to enter with a very clear stop loss 
uh, and the opportunity to sort of run that trade for your one and a half R to target. Okay. So, you know, if, if for those of you who are appreciate, you know, because I say we have a broad range of experience, for those of you who have a little bit more experience, perhaps, you know, have a, a little bit, um, you have, uh, you know, the ability to sort of, you know, understand and analyze charts, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit better just because of your experience. Well, then that's, you know, that's giving you the opportunity to sort of uh, see how you can actually kind of meld these ideas and develop them in your, uh, into your own sort of trading, uh, trading style. So, you know, as I was saying before, okay, just to, to give you, I think, you know, the trend line should be neutral, uh, neutral, trend line should be natural, okay, don't force it, all right, don't, don't force it, okay, if it's, if it's too steep, okay, if it's too shallow, if it's too aggressive, the likelihood is it's probably likely to, to, to fail. And if you, uh, you know, need a tip on how to, uh, to, to sort of do it better, well, then you can use fractals, okay, if you, if you don't know what a fractal is, I'll show you very quickly on when we move across to the, uh, to the live charts, but they can actually help you, okay, in sort of identifying where you should be drawing your uh, drawing your counter trend line is, all right? But, you know, what you'll find is what works across all time frames, because trends exist across all time frames, but the daily chart can be very nice, and I appreciate that, you know, some of the people joining us today, you know, is trying to trade around their uh, day job, and actually being able to trade a, a counter trend line is, is quite a simple way to be able to, um, uh, you know, quite a simple way to be able to trade without, you know, on a daily chart without actually having to, uh, to sort of uh, sit and be there uh, every minute of every day. But simply, all, automatically, this is just, it's just another way to rejoin a strong trend, okay? You know, it's about identifying that trend, all right? So that's, you know, that's the key element. And then we're looking for ways that we can rejoin that trend on a pullback. Just simple ways that we can actually just, you know, rejoin that dominant trend. That's what we're looking to do. That's where the, uh, that's where the fun would be. So, as always, some of the sessions, especially the sort of technical sessions I do here, I like to set you a, uh, a little uh, a little task, ladies and gentlemen. I like to set you a uh, you know a little uh, um, uh, a little a little sort of uh, you know a little bit of homework, okay? A little bit of homework there for you that you can take away and work with. So, just you know, go away and have a little look at your favourite trading instruments. You know, I don't know people here might be trading euro dollar, people might be trading cryptos, might be trading gold, might be trading oil okay just have a little look at your favorite trading instrument and perhaps on your trade favorite trading time frame maybe some of you here today are intraday traders maybe you are some of you here are you know daily chart traders and just you know go back and have a look at you know have a look at find periods when that instrument was trending okay just to take a look all right what was it like when it was trending and during those trending periods were there opportunities for you to trade counter trend line breaks? Were there, were there a few counter trend line breaks? Were they, were they at a kind of a nice natural way that drawn across the chart or were they very aggressive or very shallow, okay? And just, you know, and if so, what were natural targets of those trades, okay? You know, we talked here about just using a simple one and a half, you know, rewards times your risk for your trades. But I appreciate some people might actually like to sort of try and trade for longer because they think they're going to be in a, uh, a longer trend. That all comes down to your own personal risk profile and understanding your personal risk profile. Well, you know, that, that's, a, that, you know that's a webinar all of its own, ladies and gentlemen, okay? There's plenty of... Uh, Plenty to, to be looking at on there, but you know, as a, if you could start out with just like one and a half reward to risk, okay, is a way to do it. That allows you to, uh, that allows you. It doesn't mean you don't need to be right on every trade, okay. And that means that even if you have a 50% hit rate, you can still be actually a profitable as a uh, as a trader. So. And uh, as uh, uh, as actually uh, Vincenzo says, practice makes perfect. Wise words indeed, Vincenzo. Couldn't have said it better myself, okay? And that's why I try and set you this homework every time, okay? That's why I try to take these tasks, take away tasks, because actually, you know, you can watch these you know, webinars till you're blue in the face, okay? And you'll learn fantastic amounts, but it's not until you sit down in front of your charts and actually just do a little bit of practice, okay? Work at it. That is actually what, um, that's actually what help, uh, helps you. And uh, Mark Rinderman says, I was actually trading this setup in Pound Against Aussie today, didn't even know it. Well, there you go, Mark. There's a, there's a nice bit of the uh, universe showing you a little bit of synchronicity there, okay, that um, as you uh, identify a setup, then you come and join this uh, uh, webinar and you learn just a little bit more about it. There you go. There's a, uh, hopefully, they, hopefully this webinar's resonated with you then that you can actually uh, uh, to look at it. And uh, 
Vincenzo saying that Williams fractals are great for confirmation. You're absolutely right. Okay, Vincenzo, I use them for lots of elements in my own particular trading, but in terms of drawing counter trend lines, they can be enormously helpful as well. So there you go. There's some homework for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Take it away because I know the traders who will improve and who will evolve and become best are the ones who will take away their homework and do a little bit of work at it. Might only be, you know, 20 minutes a day, okay, just working at it, practicing it. But uh, trust me, practice makes perfect, as, uh, as Vincenzo said himself. So, you know, to conclude, ladies and gentlemen, you know, in the past we have talked about trading breakouts versus pullbacks. And, you know, I think my uh, colleague Jens, you know, he likes to trade lots of uh, breakouts, okay, in the indexes. And, and it is about knowing which is, the, which is the more suitable sort of style of trading for yourself. They both can be, you know, very, uh, very, uh, uh, you know, happy and profitable ways of trading. It's about understanding which one suits you best. I, whilst I can trade breakouts, personally, I prefer to trade pullbacks. And trading counter trend line breaks is just another version of trading a pullback. Okay, it's just a, just a simple way for you to rejoin a trend. Okay, and that's what we just try to to uh, sort of share with you. But most importantly, it only works in a trending market, right? So that's that's the step one that you need to be very clear on. Okay, you need to be very clear to be able to identify that you know this instrument you know that you're looking at is actually trading in a, or is in a trending environment okay it's no use in a range bound or congested market okay it's not going to be um, as effective you want to identify where there's a nice trend so we've got a few minutes left here we've got a couple of minutes we'll have a quick look for the last couple of minutes at some uh, live markets and uh, as i said please come and join us on traders yard i'm going to be here for half an hour afterwards okay in the traders yard itself so uh, come and join the trading spotlight group there okay tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312 you can see my uh, uh, my assistant here has uh, placed that up very uh, in the chat box you just have to click on and join us okay and uh, yeah maybe mark you should join us but put, put up a yeah uh, post put up a uh, chart of your uh, pound Aussie trade okay and uh, uh, I'll be able to give you a little bit of insight into that uh, as well so uh, as always you know we we've got uh, plenty of uh, plenty of uh, other uh, trading spotlight webinars here for you to, to join us okay and uh, on Wednesday Marcus is going to talk about forex hedging strategies okay in terms of what is it what is hedging how can you use hedging to decrease risk and increase profits and uh, which markets are best for hedging. So that's on uh, Wednesday, 20th of November, two o'clock London time, or you know, in relevant to your own local time, check your inbox for the webinar link or go to the admiralmarkets.com uh, website and join up, okay, the trading spotlight under the uh, education element of the website. And as always, whoops, there's, as always, there's plenty of uh, analysis and education on the admiralmarkets.com website. And, you know, and if you've got questions, if you're watching this later on, uh, you know, on uh, sort of uh, on social media, then by all means, you know, drop us a like, put in a question, we'll quite happily take them. If you have questions afterwards, drop us a note, hello at admiralmarkets.com or youtube.com forward slash admiralmarkets, where you'll be able to watch this, and facebook.com forward slash admiralmarketsglobal. Well, I, uh, I hope you've uh, found that useful, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Ed says, thank you. Yeah, absolutely great and stuff. I said, we'll, we'll switch across to some uh, live charts here. As I said, it's just very simple ways for you to, to rejoin an existing trend, okay? And uh, it's, you know, in, you know, in all of my trading experience, it tends to be simple plans that you can execute, okay, very easily. They tend to be the ones that sort of are, are the most sustainable of, uh, of trading ideas, okay? So I hope you found it useful. And if you'll just bear with me a moment, we'll just we'll just try and switch across to the uh, Admiral Markets MetaTrader uh, platform just to, uh, just to give you a quick look at a couple of ideas. Super. Okay. Super. So um, Romanta says the possible to recognize then pullback is on the way or break up by indicators or other signals. Um, I, I think in terms of trying to identify a pullback in terms of by an indicator or another signal, um, I don't I don't think so. Maybe maybe there might be there might be people who who'd be able to sort of say yeah he or nay on that but personally um, I think in terms of identifying pullbacks okay in a trend 
I think that's very difficult to, to do so on, a, on an indicator, okay? It's, you really, it's just a case of a, a visual identifying a trend, okay? And then basically being able to sort of identify those simple counter trend lines. That's, uh, that's, what, we're, uh, particularly, uh, that's what we're particularly looking for. So um, let's have a little look here. What have we got? We've got to, hey, I've just got dollar dollar pairs up here. Okay, what, what was looking at? Dollar Canadian dollar. Okay, so uh, this is from a couple of weeks ago. All right, and uh, as I said, you know the idea is you know this is a four hour chart, and you know we've talked about a few, but actually it can you know it can work very nicely across all sort of uh, time frames. And as I said, it's you know it's a case of just trying to be able to recognise the you know one that you're in a that you're in a trend uh, and also what is the price action underneath that uh, and actually how can we utilize that so uh, this is dollar cad four hour chart okay after being in uh, let's just get to the uh, let's get my thing after being in a congestion period here okay a bit of a double top almost price breaks the structure comes down and then pulls back again okay, shows you a little counter trend line before it drops and then it puts in another one now, you know, this one might be seen, some people might see this as quite a little bit aggressive, okay, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, uh, starting to get, you know, a little bit, uh, what's the word, yeah, just a little bit aggressive for some people, but it falls away, but actually it, it sets it up again before it actually starts to, to move down uh, again, because this was in a sort of dollars being sold off there, and we're clearly into quite a nice trend, uh, and then before it actually sets up again at a particular number now, the only thing I'd be saying here is that, you know, you're selling into you know selling right into the kind of the 130 uh, zone into an existing identified kind of support level so we don't really want to be selling into support okay we don't really want to be buying into resistance so really it's the clear your opportunities were here on this particular uh, um, on this particular area uh, if we have a look at uh, as i say kiwi dollar yeah, Kiwi dollar because you know it's quite easy to identify that uh, New Zealand dollar was very weak, okay, and American dollar is very strong. As always, I'm trying to buy strength, sell weakness. So actually, sort of just trying to find ways to sort of join the trend. You can see there yourself was a very uh, very clear trend, and you know that the the challenge you had uh, the challenge you had here, okay, was that you know it was it was a bit scruffy, okay, here, but we had. Uh, Nice trend, pulled back. The chance you might have had here, okay, is that you know getting your entry here might have been a bit of a, a bit of a particular challenge. In which case, especially if you missed that big drop, you'd be disappointed. But price sets up again, okay. Price sets up again, and, you know, it gives you the sort of uh, just gives you the fractals there to be able to just draw just a natural trend line. It doesn't have to, don't force it. And then once again, you know, we break it, okay. Let's just use our drawing tool here. We, you know, we, we break it, we close the other side of it, okay? Our stop can go above the recent highs, and then we can actually let that trend play out, all right? And uh, price does that again, you know, it does it again here, okay? We get the uh, um, we get our points here before it actually closes beneath it, stop above the, the, the recent high before price continues to, to move down, okay? So, as I said, the first part of it is identify a nice trending market, okay? You know, by identifying the trending market should be, relatively easy in the sense that a good trend leaps off the page at you and if you can do that well then that's you know then you're just looking to see can you identify these uh, particular uh, particular you know counter trend lines that would allow you the opportunity to uh, allow you the opportunity to to take those uh, to, to take those truths so uh, uh, remark to says a, a trusty sense. I'm I'm not sure I uh, I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, uh, yeah, I apologise that. But um, but yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like we're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I hope you found that useful. I hope you found that's giving you a little bit of insight, a little bit of uh, food for thought in terms of way that you can uh, you can sort of trade counter trend lines. As I said, those of you who want to come and join me on the uh, Traders Yard page, I'll be there for about the next half hour or so, and I'll be happy to answer any more of your questions. Um, as always, I wish you the very best of success in your own trading endeavours, uh, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Trade well, ladies and gentlemen.